Okay guys, so in this tutorial I will try to teach you guys how I make this shield under 5 minutes. So let's start. So first add a circle mesh, then in edit mode click E to extrude, right click to cancel it, and then click S to scale it inwards, and that will make a rim of our shield. Next select the inner loop, click spacebar and search for grid fill, and click enter and this will fill our inside of the shield. After that select the middle vertex, enable proportional editing, change the curve to what you want, in my case I chose the sphere one, and now click G, then click Z to move our vertex along the Z axis. Make sure to have the whole mesh covered by proportional editing, which is this white circle on the screen. This will bend our shield and make it look more round. Now select the outer loop of face, click I to inset the faces, then when you are satisfied, hold Ctrl to move those faces outwards. And thanks to that our shield will not be flat anymore. Now it looks much better, but we still need to make it look more stylized. Ok, so let's add the bevel modifier. Change the size to be quite small and the segments to be more than one. In my case I have it set it to 3, but you see it beveled all the edges and this is not what we want. We want it to bevel only the sharp edges. So in order to do that, first we need to change our bevel type to weight, then we need to go back to edit mode, select the edges we want to be beveled, click Ctrl E and then select edge bevel weight and drag it out till it reaches 1. Now bevel will be only on these edges. After that add the subdivision surface modifier, change its level to around 4 and click apply. Ok so now we have our nice shield and we can start detailing it. So first add the cube, subdivide it 3 times, scale it down and in edit mode move it to one of the sides of the shield. Then use the spin tool to repeat this mesh around the shield and now we have nice balls. So that will be it for the modeling part and now we can go to my favorite part which is sculpting. So now go to sculpting mode, change the brush to the scrape brush and start making the balls flat from each side. And this will add the stylized look that we are aiming for and do it to each of the balls to make it more different. Now do the same with the shield but only on the edges uh, and we do it because we want to break the form and we want to make it look to more damage. You can also add a custom texture and use it as a brush to make additional bumps. Use crease brush to make some slashes and cuts. Use inflate, deflate brush to make more bumps. Use grab brush to deform your shield a bit and make sure to have X mirror turned out. And using those brush you will have your stylized shield. The uh, last part I did that is not necessary to you but at the end I decided to make this a wooden shield so I used the crease brush to cut some wood. And that's the end guys of this tutorial. So if you like this tutorial just let me know in the comments and I will try to make more of these. And otherwise than this, have a nice life guys and nice day and goodbye.